Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video. This is episode 90 something. Um, so we're closing in on the 100th episode of Diecast Weekly, uh, which is pretty cool that I've been able to pull this off, you know, for basically 100 weeks, almost 100 weeks straight. Had something to show you. Um, no plans on stopping either. Even if I don't find anything, I'm still going to have a ton of stuff to show you because there's still a lot of stuff I've never shown on the channel. Um, so that is pretty excellent. Thank you guys, first and foremost, very much for watching. Those of you that have been around for a long time uh, watching these episodes and those of you that are new, uh, thank all of you. I really appreciate it. Um, pretty awesome to be able to share this hobby with all of you. All right, so uh, this is the last week of my paternity leave for the new baby, so I have to go back to work on Tuesday. Boo -hoo. Um, yeah, I gotta rejoin the working class, which, uh, you know, whatever it is what it is. I've been gone though for three weeks, it's gonna be tough to go back to the grind, but uh, eh, whatever, it's gotta be done. So there's that. Um, this week was actually quite fantastic. Uh, really the cool thing that happened was uh, my buddy Crazy Todd and I uh, got access to an entire pallet of Hot Wheels cases. I'm talking there was about 30, I think there was about 30 cases on this pallet. It was like 3,000 plus cars or something close to that. Um, and we got to open them all. That was awesome. All right, so out of those cases, we ended up, and they're all, by the way, they were all um, E-case, E-cases. We scored five of these supers. I don't have them all here to show you because I've already traded a couple and um, yada yada. I just don't have them all here. So this is one of the one of the supers that we found. Um, so we found five of them, five of these. That was fantastic. And on top of that, in cutting open all these cases, we found like one Zamac case. Where did I stick those Zamac? Or, or two Zamac? There was only two cases on this pallet that had Zamac cars in them. This is the series that the Zamacs were. Okay, so we found five supers, we found two cases that had Zamax in them, or three, two or three cases I think that had Zamax in them, out of like the 30 that were there on this pallet. And then we found two of these, Borla Mustangs, which is weird because they were in cases with, uh, that were clearly marked, you know, E-cases. Yeah, I keep having to double check. They were clearly marked as E-cases. Um, and, and I'm lucky that I actually looked because I looked at the top of these cases and I didn't see a single skyline in them. And I'm like, what is going on? There's no, no skyline in these. And like, that's weird, you know, and I just threw them aside. Um, but then I'm like, wait a minute, there's no skyline in these. And I looked at the Borla and I'm like, wait a minute, that's a super. So then I had to go back and check all of them. So there was like two or three cases that were like that, or three cases I think that were like that with no skyline in them. And two out of the three, had that in there so there have been some weird things going on with super showing up in different cases i know um, people were finding skylines in the indy oval cases and indy ovals and the mustang cases and so definitely if you don't see one of the cars that's supposed to be in there i mean really look at it hard for the incorrect super because it's possible that it's there i know for sure now so there's that. So we found two of those. We found five of the Skylines. So seven total Supers together we found those. Um, so that was just a fantastic score. If you want to see the picture of all of them, I took kind of a snarky picture and put it up on Instagram that said, hey, check it out. I found this awesome air because this was another thing I pulled out of the case looking for Borla Supers. I found that, that air. It's got the wrong wheels in the front. I'll show it close up in a second half of the video as well as we're going to crack one of these supers in the second half i already have this one loose but i will show my loose one because there is a color variation um in this super i don't know if i'll be able to show it clearly through the plastic and i don't think i'm going to open this one up but um even though this one this one was on the worst card it's got a little crease in the top um but anyway we're gonna open up this one i found this one i posted a picture to instagram showing this in the foreground and then all the supers were in the background so you saw that I scored seven if you didn't just glaze over and flip right past it. All right, so there's that. Huge score. Fantastic. Was awesome. Um, so um, one of the things I got, I did a cash slash super trade with somebody locally. Um, his name is Song um, for this super because I wanted one. So he got a Skyline super and he also gave me some cash plus this. And 
I got this, which is great. He needed that. I needed this, so that worked out good. We're going to open up the Indie Oval Super in the second half, so we'll open up both. That's two Supers we'll open up. Um, and then also for store finds, Hot Wheels related, I found this Hot Wheels 3-pack. And I picked it up because of the orange portion here. We're going to open this up. Well, it's already kind of cracked. Open anyway, but we're going to take a look at that orange portion. I think that's a multi-pack exclusive. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't seen it anywhere. And I saw it in a three-pack, that, um, and I'm like, God, I hope, if, I hope it's an exclusive, because if it's not, I just wasted money on a three-pack. Whatever, it's the only car I wanted out of here. But then you got the Lamborghini Urus, and what is that one called? The Audacious, that hatchback. Not a real car. Um, so there's that. Um, let's see here. And, okay, so we'll stick with store finds for just another moment here. Um, store finds... Johnny Lightning, Toys R Us, had these, Barn Finds, uh, a local buddy of mine, John, actually alerted me that they were there on our little Facebook group, and then stashed one of these for me so I can go and grab one. Probably didn't need to stash it because there was like four or five hanging there or whatever, but I just wanted to make sure I got one, and I got one of these. We're going to go ahead and open up this two-pack in the second segment of the video. And then my buddy Crazy Tom uh, cracked a couple of cases of Johnny Lightning over the last two days. Found one White Lightning that was in this series. Uh, this is uh, 2018 release one of Muscle Cars USA. Um, and then I had him pick me up these two, which are fantastic. A Golf Cobra <laughs> and man, that sweet Cutlass down there. That car looks fantastic. I can't wait to get that open. Um, so that is really cool. Um, kind of a funny thing. So this is in Cars and Coffee. All right, this is Golf Cobra. And then in the RLC Car Culture set, the Camaro that's in Golf Liveries and Cars and Donuts. Hmm. I don't know, whatever. Weird little fact. All right, so there's that. We're going to go ahead and open up both of these Cars and Coffee cars in the second segment. Oh, yeah, the White Lightning that he found um, was the... Uh, the Buick GS 455, and he already traded it, so that's pretty cool. And he traded it within, like, hours of finding it, so that's that's pretty awesome. All right, so, oh, yeah, one more thing. Shresh, my buddy, picked me up one of these. It's the Porsche uh, Maisto Design. It's got, it's, it's in this Maisto Design Transport, so it's got a Porsche Cayenne and a Porsche 918 Spider. And I thought that was pretty cool, so definitely wanted it. He picked that up for me, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Shirash. You're the best. Um, and then um, I have had a lot of fun going through my buddy Chuck's collection. Okay, this last, my buddy Chuck, rest in peace. Uh, as you may or may not know the story already, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos now, I think, that I am in charge of selling off this collection Um of course, I can pick up some things for myself in it and all that stuff, and I and I did I picked up a couple of things I purchased today just to show in this video, uh, a couple of Johnny Lightnings which I'll show in a second. Um, one of the other things I found in there was he had this Super, this uh, '69 Camaro Z28 Super, and I just wanted to show this because this is one of those. Here's an example of the, the original Supers. The first Super Treasure Hunts really were in 2007. Okay, before that there was really no such thing as a Super Treasure Hunt. Okay, they were Treasure Hunts. That had rubber tires, yada yada yada, whatever. Super started in 2007. It's the first year of the Super Treasure Hunt, and these 2007 ones, some of them had major paint flaking issues. And we're gonna open up this in the second segment of it because I can't sell it to anybody. There's just no way. It's like completely flaked. It's really bad. So I'll show it close up and we'll go ahead and open it. And I might as well open up the regular one too. So there's that. Uh, so we'll we'll take a look at that in the second half of the video. And then um, just a couple of pickups that I grabbed from. I grabbed this sweet Fox Body Mustang, this green light. So I picked that up from the collection. I wanted an example of this uh, green light tooling in my collection. So grab that. And then these three Johnny Lightnings that are somewhat special, I think. Um, I believe these are limited to 5,000. I think they are anyway. This is the Johnny Lightning Gold Series. So these are like decked out Johnny Lightnings. Um, they come in like this Protecto pack almost that's got tape around it, so it's sealed. But I think once you cut the tape, it's loose, but then it's resealable. So I kind of really dig this this uh, 
way of uh, packaging. And then they also have an acrylic case in there. I could give or take the acrylic case, but it's kind of cool if you can actually open these up, put them back in the case if you want to display them. I don't know, all sorts of cool options there. And so there's three of them. I got this AMC AMX we'll take a look at. And these look just, I mean, through the packaging, it's kind of hard to tell, but they look extremely detailed. So we're going to take a look at all them. The 67 Dodge Charger, very, very cool. And then this one, the 71 Olds Cutlass 442. All right, so these came out in 2007 is what it looks like. So we're going to compare the detail, especially on this 442, to the round two version of the 442, which I've got two examples of these. So these are the Johnny Lightning's 2017 Release 1 for Muscle Cars USA. Uh, these are pretty limited, actually, I believe. Where's the limit? These are limited to 1672, so under 2,000 of these made. I believe these are limited to 5,000 is what I think they are. So this is, and this is release two of the gold series. Not classic gold. These are gold series muscle cars, limited edition. Very fancy packaging, but huge packaging. So we need to get rid of that. We're going to go ahead and open them up. Oh, and one other thing. So that's it for fines and stuff like that. I finished a custom. Yeah, I did. Um, it's one that's been a long time in the making. Thank you, Nesto P, for hooking me up and custom making decals for this one. Um, I just didn't have wheels to put on it for the longest time, and I found some wheels for it that weren't too beat up, these hot ones, on the original um, axles too, which is sweet, and uh, finished this 442 Custom. Um, I'll roll it by the camera right away in the beginning of the second half of the video here and show you it up close, uh, but I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out. So I just painted it green, put on these decals, kind of restored it, and this would be the Canadian exclusive of this vehicle. It's a replica of that. Um, the Canadian, the green 442s like this, flat out 442s go for a lot of money, the real ones, and uh, I just don't have one in the collection and probably will never find a mint one, so decided I would make one. So there's that. And then here's an, just an example of that, of a real one of the casting. Obviously not the Canadian version, a yellow version, the U.S. version. But we'll take a look at those two in the second segment of the video. All right, so that is going to be it for this part. Let's go ahead and flip her around and uh, take a close look at some stuff. All right, let's start by taking a look at this custom flat out 442. As you can see, the Tampa layout is basically the same on both of these cars. Um, again, shout out to my buddy Nesto P who custom made these decals for me. Um, these were actually pretty tough to apply just because they actually had to hand cut out all these because they're on white paper. So as you can see, they're not perfect uh, by any means, and that's due to my skills with the uh, scissors um, but these are really hard to actually cut out and actually place on this this car um, but i think i did a pretty good job um, irritatingly i nicked the paint on the front here so it's got a it's got a flea bite already but that's okay right it's an old car um, so there's that and then here is the other version i don't want to press on this one too hard but it does have the original um, hot ones axles uh, but they are super glued in so um, basically and we're missing some gold paint right there but anyway I'm happy with how it turned out left the, the base with the patina on it uh, it's screwed together and I, I don't know I think it turned out really cool I, I like it I like it a lot um, I don't know if I'm even going to display this with my customs I think I'm just going to display it with my 442's as an example of a car I do not have and had to make a custom of, basically. So, no, I'm not making candy striper gassers, but uh, making this guy. And let's just take a close look here. You can kind of see how rigid, you know, that's not a perfect circle there. Um, you know, so it's definitely not perfect. But it's definitely not too shabby. So, there's that. Hope you guys like that. It's the first custom I've completed in a long time. And really the only thing I did do it this week was put those wheels on it and it was done. All right. So there is that one. All right. So after that, let's take a quick look. Let's take a look at this Maisto Design Porsche. I'll zoom out here. So this is a Porsche 918 Spider and a Porsche Cayenne. 
go ahead and open it up. These Maestro Design cars are pretty cool. I, I do like them. I, the only thing I don't like is their size. I mean, they are definitely larger than Hot Wheels. So they're definitely bigger than 164 scale, even though that's kind of what they say that they are is 164 scale. Also, let's see here. Let's take a look at the Cayenne first. They tend to be a bit um, exaggerated in feature. Like this thing is lowered big time. It's got way bigger rims on it than it should. But detail is there. I mean, you got the front de detail, rear detail. Uh, the trailer hitch is ridiculous. I actually might take off the trailer hitch because you could definitely do that. It's just screwed on there. You might have to replace it with a shorter screw. I'm not sure, but either way, that's definitely removable. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the trailer, but I may not even keep the trailer. Maybe I'll use the, the wheels on the trailer as wheel donor, because they are rubber, actually. These are rubber tires on this plastic flatbed trailer. So that's cool. The ramps move up and down. I mean, it's got some, it feels pretty sturdy. That's pretty awesome, I guess. Um, but yeah, really basic. It's very, very basic. It's not very detailed, the trailer. But I think these things are only, um, I wanna say they're like seven bucks or something. So that's not too bad. And then the reason why I really wanted it was that Porsche there. So I think this Porsche is pretty cool. That looks really nice. Um, pretty detailed. You got, um, you know, it's all painted details. Nothing lensed or anything, of course. Plastic base, metal body, but you do get rubber tires with tread. But yeah, it is large. I mean, it's big. And I don't, I'm pretty sure that these cars are not the same size. So definitely not scale correct. Maisto never is uh, really scale correct. And they don't really, I don't, they don't claim to be. So that's okay. Um, but uh, there it is. So there's that 918. I think, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. So definitely wanted to, wanted to add it to the Porsche collection because I, love Porsches. All right, so there's that. And then let's see, next up real quick, let's take a look at green light here. The only green light piece of this video is this 1991 Ford Mustang. Um, this is from County Roads Series 7. And man, it looks really nice. I've seen this one on Heavy Metal 164's channel and definitely wanted to an example of this casting in my collection so I am glad to have one um, if you look on eBay for one of these you really got to watch out to get a good deal because prices on these can go from I mean you can score one cheap if no one's watching uh, from what I've noticed but you really got to look out for it otherwise sometimes people will charge you up to like $30 buy it now for this for this car so but I think if you're patient um, enough you can probably find one a lot cheaper than that um, but you just got to look out for that and then uh, so you got to really watch it watch the auctions for it so there is that and really cool casting hood opens on it this is a really nice tooling from green light and one that they have not put out a lot of at all um, so definitely cool Wheels look great on it. Of course, you got metal body, metal base, 91 Ford Mustangs, number 1801. I'm not really sure how many of this county, I didn't look up how many of the County Road Series 7 vehicles there are, or what the production run was, but I don't think, the County Roads, usually they don't make as many of those as a lot of other series. But, and they're always good looking cars too, with just regular civilian liveries, and they just look, I don't know, really good. I, that's why I like the County Road Series because there's a lot of just basic cars. There's nothing like, there's not, they're not like dressed up like race cars. They're not dressed up in some weird licensing and stuff. They're usually just basic um, versions, stock versions of the vehicle. And I, I think this looks great. I think it looks excellent. So highly recommend you add one to your collection. All right, so there is that. Uh, I think next we should look, before we get into the other detailed stuff, let's look at Hot Wheels. Um, so... Let's start with this three pack, real basic um, three pack here. Plus it open. So let's start up from this guy here, the audacious. That is totally audacious, man. 
I don't, it's kind of a cool looking little hatchback. It's kind of, it's too bad it's not a licensed model, but, um, and the orange interior I could do without, but eh, whatever. It's not bad. Don't need to spend time really looking at it though. And then the Lamborghini Urus, Urus. There's this one right here. Not a huge fan of this for reals. I don't like, well, whatever. Supercars. It's a supercar company making an SUV. Um, if I wanted an SUV and, I don't know, I had, you know, lottery winnings, I don't think I would buy this one. So, uh, this is a concept car, though. I don't think they've ever really actually made it. Uh, they might have made a couple of them. Uh, I don't think the Urus ever went into production. If it ever does, I don't think it's going to sell very well. So, there's that. All right, so, uh, and then this guy is why I got it. This Porsche 911. Pretty sweet. GT2. Uh, this casting's nice. It, uh, it's a very nice Porsche casting. It looks good in orange with the blue. Um, and it's got the little lens detail in the headlights. And I think it... Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I dig it. I dig that little mainline Porsche. So I don't know if that's going to show up in the in the straight up mainline or if it is a multi-pack exclusive. Hopefully it's a multi-pack exclusive and I'm not... Um, silly to have bought it but uh there it is metallic blue white stripe pretty good looking mainline all right so there is that and let's see here what should we look at next let's do the boiler mustangs so here's the error i found just to show you it's legit it's riveted the original rivets all that stuff uh j money wheels this is going in your box that i kind of have going for you i know you dig errors and you also dig mustangs so this is right up your alley so i'm definitely going to just hook you up with that one and then here is the super treasure hunt we'll go ahead and open that up and take a look very nice very nice this is also a good looking just straight up mainline car, which is, here's the mainline version right here. I mean, that's a good looking mainline car. You can't really say it's not. I mean, the, the casting's pretty nice. The graphics are nice on it. It looks pretty good. It doesn't have full deco. Like, you know, it doesn't have anything on the front here or the back, but it doesn't necessarily need it because it's got all the racing graphics all over the place. And then the super version, is pretty much the exact same with the exception of the TH logo right there. So there's your TH logo and what else? That's pretty much it. And then of course it's got rubber tires and the paint is a translucent black, which you can barely tell it's a translucent black because it's very darkly painted. And then of course, yeah, you know, rubber tires with tread, same base and all that other stuff other than that. But really cool to add this one to the collection really neat so glad to have it and it was cool to find a couple of those so that is neat all right so there is that and what is next here so i don't need to open a skyline up but i did want to show here so here's my loose skyline see how dark that is here is the mainline version you can see how light that is compared to the dark one obviously and then I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all on camera, but we're going to give it a shot. There is this one. Now, all five of the Supers that we found on that palette were this color, blue. Um, and the ones that were found early, I believe, at Toys R Us, you can, I can definitely see it in my, the way I can see it in my camera here. Hopefully you guys can see it on screen, um, how dark this one is compared to this one. I don't know if that's a known variation from you guys, but it seems like the ones that were found earlier at Toys R Us when the cases first started hitting were this darker, um, very, very dark color uh, super. And then the later cases, I think, are coming in this color variation with a lighter paint job. So you should be able to see that there on camera. Um, if not, sorry, but... Uh, but yeah, so I think the dark one looks a little bit better. And so I'm glad that's the version I'm keeping and I have loose. I could open this one too. It's not a bad card and have both variations. But I'm not too into too crazy about variations as far as light, dark, and you know, this and that and whatever. But I don't know. I think it looks cooler with dark with the dark color. That's got a really dark, smooth paint job on it. This one has a smooth paint job on it, but of course it's 
you know, lighter color. All right, so there's that. And then let's stick with supers for just a moment here and take a look at the Indy Oval. Uh, this one I actually was really excited about when I saw it. I like golf livery stuff. I really do. Uh, I like, you know, Formula One style cars, Indy style cars. So when I saw this one as a super and with the wheels on it that it has, I think it looks really good. So there it is. The Indy Oval. Um, tell me what you think of this super down in the comments below. Um, it's probably going to be the only real value that it's going to command is the fact that it is golf livery. Um, here's the basic, by the way. So, I mean, these are obviously different the, in tone and everything. So, this is an opaque color or an enamel color. This is obviously a translucent color, Spectra Flame, whatever you want to call it. Um, other than that, tampos are basically the same. With the exception of the TH that's on the nose there, Hot Wheels and TH. This one just has the Hot Wheels logo. And then, of course, the rubber tires. So, of course, this has slicks on it too, which is appropriate for a race car. So, that is cool. Um, I think this is a cool super. I think it's a really cool super, actually. So far this year, I think the bunk super of the year is that tuned Mustang. I don't know why they would ever do a tuned car in a super treasure hunt, but. That's the only one that I'm definitely, for sure, so far, that I'm not going to really care about getting. Or the Bone Shaker, for that matter, either. Um, all right, so there is that. Um, then let's just quickly open up these two Zamac cars. So we got this Corvette, which is 55 Corvette I could give or take. Don't really care so much about that one. The one that I really wanted, obviously, was this Porsche 911 GT3 RX. As you guys know, I like Porsches, and this is a great job on this one. Just basic. You got the Porsche logo in the front, GT3 RS in the back, and that's all you really need. Other than that, it's just the Zamac. Look good. I think it looks good. I like it. So glad to add that to my collection. So there is that. Um, and then, I guess real quick, we're going to open up this guy. I've had this basic treasure hunt in my collection for a long time so there is that and then oh yeah so another explanation for this so 2007 when they started super treasure hunts the regular treasure hunts and the super treasure hunts were the same casting the super treasure hunt was just a superized version of the treasure hunt that's how they used to be not now where they have the treasure hunts a totally different casting and you know generally is aimed at kids to look at because it's like a fantasy casting and then the Super is, you know, whatever, a superized version of a regular release. And here's the Super with nasty chipped paint. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this car. I'm probably just going to drill it apart and take the wheels from it, to tell you the truth. Because I really don't think it has any value like this in the state that it's in with this just flaky... I mean, it's kind of a hard finish, so I don't know how this happened. Like, the paint oxidant, I don't, I, I, I don't even have a theory for it. Maybe Mattel has explained it in the past. I'm not really sure what it was, but obviously they were experimenting with this uh, Spectra Flame paint in the beginning. And some of these cars survived and didn't have any flake, and some of them had flakage. So, which is very unfortunate that this one is completely flaked. So, but there it is. Kind of a cool little car, but unfortunately flaked all right so there's that flaky super all right so let's see after that let's do we're into johnny lightning now so the remainder of this video is going to be johnny lightning if you're not a johnny lightning fan you can hang it up right now this is the cars and coffee sweet bitter brews sweet rides and fresh wax these are limited to 320 3, 3220 so Johnny Lightning definitely increasing the numbers now for 2018, which you gotta if you're gonna be in all Walmart. So this is actually showing up in Walmart when previously all you'd really see in Walmart was the Street Freaks as of late. Now you're starting to see more series show up. They are on the same peg space as the Street Freaks were, and I think they're just gonna kind of rotate through series on there. But this is a fantastic looking little golf vehicle. And there it is. I don't know. I think that looks great. I only have one other version of the Cobra casting from Johnny Lightning in my collection. 
and uh, it is pretty cool. So now I have this one, and then, I mean, it looks good with that. It looks good in any golf collection across brands. So here's the, uh, here's the Camaro from the Car Culture Series. So pretty much the exact same color blue. Um, looks really good. Looks fantastic. Uh, I'm really glad to have it. Really glad to add this little golf cart to my collection. So that is awesome. So thank you, Todd, for locating that for me. And then also thank you for locating this one for me, which looks fantastic. Uh, so this is, and the weird thing is, okay, so here's another weird thing. Um, this says limited 3220. Okay, this makes no sense to me. This is in the same case of cars, and this is limited to 2980. Okay, they come in cases of six. Why is this one more limited than that one? Doesn't make any sense to me unless they're selling single packs, probably, or straight packs, is what they would call them, of this vehicle. So I'm wondering if you can order this individually right off the bat, and that's why it's got a higher number than this one. And these are only found in the cases, and you probably can't order them individually. That's my theory. I don't know for sure. If I do find out, maybe I'll circle back and report on that, but I doubt I'll remember. Uh, but anyway, there is this sweet car. Um, so just an awesome vehicle. A uh, really cool 84 Olds Cutlass. Nice detail on it, as you would expect from Johnny Lightning. It's a good roller, too. Really cool. Love this body style of car. A lot of people do, a lot of people my age do. Um, and it's just cool, man, it's really cool. So really glad, fantastic to add that to the collection and we gotta keep her moving here. Um, all right, so next up, let's do the two pack of Superbirds. Um, so this, these are limited to 2502 Barn Finds. So you can read this blurb over here if you'd want to, I'm not going to, but uh, this is how this was found, I guess, in a barn, and this is a stock one, factory color, before it got all whacked out by the owner. So we're going to go ahead and open up this two-pack. Uh, these Johnny Lightning two-packs are pretty nice, these little themed two-packs. So there's the wacky one we'll take a look at first. But zoom in on it. Not a very good roller. We probably have a wheel issue here that's fixable. That's a nice thing with these Johnny Lightning wheels. It's always fixable. Uh, so there's that. Crazy looking car. I don't know if that's some sort of, is that just rust or water damage on the back or if that's some sort of mural that was painted on the back. So I got some tire issues, but I can fix those. We'll do that off camera. And it's got an opening hood. That's a little stiff, but we got it open. There's a motor inside there. Closes nice. Vinyl top. Looks pretty awesome. And then here is the factory color. Superbird. This looks great. Looks fantastic. Again, there's an opening hood. It'll have the same motor in it. We're not going to bother trying to open it. Kind of weird how oxidized this base looks already. Oh, and the other weird thing is, is you can see on the base, it's got Racing Champions. So this may be an original Racing Champions tooling. I don't know how they do this. These guys share toolings all the time, Johnny Lightning and Racing Champions. So I don't know who came up with this particular one first. There probably is a Johnny Lightning Superbird too. That was an original um, Johnny Lightning one. But uh, I don't know, whatever. Really, really cool. I dig it cool to add that to the collection this one's got some rolling issues too so maybe it is how the axles are sitting in there but i'll explore that off camera um so there's that and then uh all right so then let's get into these johnny light gold series so i'm gonna try to move quickly through this because i know we're already at uh, very little time left here of your attention span so <clears throat> 1969 amc amx i'm just gonna pull these all out of their clamshells first so yeah, the clamshell is closable, uh, reclosable, and basically you just open up the clamshell and these come out. All right, so there's all three of them out of their that packaging. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at these one by one real quick. 
So, and these cases are kind of cool. They got that plastic in there that you can get rid of. And then it's got like a mirrored base case, which is kind of nice. So let's pull them, let's do this assembly line style. We'll pull them all out of their cases. Just to save some time here. We'll look at the AMC AMX first. Zoom in on it. All right, so these are very, very detailed Giant Lightnings. Now, basic Giant Lightnings, of course, are very detailed as well. But, I mean, these look really nice. Nice orange, orange stripe. Go ahead and open the hood on that and take a peek. Looks nice. Cool paints a little cobby up here so that's too bad it's not flaking or anything like that super was but it's not quite smooth um, so these have been sitting in the package for 10 years plus um, but still I mean oh here you go detailed undercarriage so that was one of the things too is that it's got details down here which is not normal for Johnny Lightning uh, they normally do not have detailed undercarriages, but there's a quick look at that one. Here's a quick look at the Dodge Charger. Is that a Charger? And uh, so a quick look at that one. Uh, this one looks really nice too. Opening hood. Hood opens easily. Closes nice. Very, very detailed. Detailed wheels, charger, looks really, really, really good. Uh, the color is fantastic, I really like the color of it. Paint is actually really nice on this one. Um, that detail in the front grille is very, very nice. I guess the hood doesn't close quite perfect when you look at it this, this much up close. It's not quite in alignment, but when you're not under the microscope of the camera, I mean, it looks fantastic and then there is the under detail undercarriage there so a little goofy that it's got that paint there i don't know it's a little weird but that's eh, pretty cool so yeah i guess the hood does have a little bit of issue to it especially when you look it up real close but still a very very cool car and glad to add it to the collection and then lastly the 442 Again, very, very detailed. We got an opening hood. Very detailed front end on that one. The opening hood is pretty cool. Um, this one is kind of loose in there. It shuts pretty good, but um, you can see that it's raised up just a little bit on the back side of the hood, which again, to the naked eye, um, that really isn't a big deal. But when you get under the camera and you're looking at it this close, you can really see it. But uh, very cool, very nice, nicely detailed. And then really quick, lastly, okay, so hang on for just a little bit longer. We're going to take a look at these. I got two 442s. This is the same tooling. Um, these are from Muscle Cars uh, 2017 Release 1. And I just wanted to compare the level of detail that Round 2 is doing compared to these very premium Johnny Layton. So there it is in black. And then here it is in silver, but let's just take a look at one at a time here. So here's the black one. Doesn't quite sit right on its axles, which is a little weird. Um, so detail-wise in the back, well, it's close to the same tooling, right? Which they do this, they'll have just a little slightly different one for a slightly different year. Take a look at the hood, pretty much the same. Uh, the motor, I believe, is the same. Yeah. Uh, the hood on this one closes a little bit nicer. Comes down straight. So that is pretty cool. Um, I mean, overall, they're both, the, both pretty much the same amount of detail went into them. You got lettered tires, different rims, of course, on this one. This one's a good roller. Um, it does sit a little crooked, which is just weird like that but let's take a look at the silver one so here's the silver one uh, this one sits a lot better 
And again, you get the same amount of detail. There is a little gap that's more visible in this color. Then, see, it's not too visible in that color. Um, it is pretty visible in this one. So it's a slightly different front end, I think, than, than that one, too. Just taking a real close look at these. And either way, I really like them. So <clears throat> zoom out here. Like I said, these, these little minor issues in hood alignment and stuff like that really don't come out unless you look at them super, super close. Um, but these do look good. So these are obviously a lot more limited, these newer Johnny Lightning ones. But I'd say round two did about the same, is doing about the same level of detail as the very, very premium uh, Johnny Lightnings. Of course, these do not have detailed undercarriages like that one will. But who cares really about having a detailed bottom of the car, right? What does that really do for you? You don't, rarely are you going to be looking underneath one of those. So whatever. Uh, detailed in the molding and the casting is good enough for me. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Very, very long one. Again, guys, I think this one's going to be almost 40 minutes with the, the long intro. So I apologize about that. But uh, if you hung on until the end, thank you very, very much. Uh, showing some cool die cast. Um, again, this is one of those episodes where I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough to show, and I ended up with way too much. So that's pretty much how it goes every week. But really appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you lasted the whole way, uh, thank you. And if you didn't, you know, you know, thank you too. You just won't hear me say it. All right. Thanks. Bye.